Where the hell are we gonna end up? A special section of Tartarus? Meanwhile, in a vacant room at the dormitory. I... Uh-oh. She's aware of the dark hour now. I'm all alone after all. Don't go out. Fuka. Ah, oh, shit. Huh? No. No! I don't want to hear this. It's just 60 minutes. Hang in there. No, don't listen to it! I... I have to go. It's a scam! Tell her I'm sorry. Oh no, is this how it's been luring all the other ones? Fuka. Oh shit. Inside the school, which has become Tartarus during the dark hour. Yukari and Mitsuru are waiting at the entrance. Um... We still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver's sensitivity is set to high, too. Where the hell have we ended up? Oh, yeah. That girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. Yeah, not even our dorm. But we couldn't possibly bring her here, and one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. But we're all here for Fuka's sake. There we go. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. As usual. Is everyone alright? You really gotta boost that signal, Mitsuru. Oh no, we're split up. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. Uh-oh. Oh my god! It seems you were unconscious. You appear to be inside Tartarus. But you don't see Akihiko or Junpei. You can't hear Mitsuru either. Are you awake? Oh god, it's you! Sorry, did I stumble upon your bedroom now? <laughs> this is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. He's such a curious boy, honestly. The way he speaks, even. It's entrancing. Why are you here? <laughs> I told you, remember? I'm always with you. That's right, you did. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. More than one? You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay, then. I hope we can speak again. Uh, I barely got a word in, but sure. The mysterious boy disappeared. Communication is breaking up. Are you... All right. Distance. It's too far. Can't prov... Back up. Got from Aki. Communication has been lost. I'm all alone. It's okay. I'm used to this as well. I should probably pump the difficulty up before we move on. Damn it! You know what? I just realized I have no access to the Velvet Room. I can't use my personas. I've got some pretty crappy ones, considering that uh, I was using them to level up my social links. Shit! Communication is breaking up. Aki, go and aren't this floor? Who's there? Are you human? I'm just gonna guess that's Fuka. Communication has been lost. Arca, we don't know what floor we're on. But I got some medicine for my troubles. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. I thought I snuck up on it. Ow. Oh, good. Thankfully, I upgraded my weapon. Communication is breaking up. What's the current locate? Reply immediate. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. Communication has been lost. Fuka! Fuka, I'm coming! Communication is breaking up. Can you hear me? Please answer. Is someone there? Please answer me. Communication has been lost. God. The signal is terrible. Snuff soul. Oh, hey, boys. There we are. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. Ah, uh, you didn't have to worry about me. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. No. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice while you were in here? Sure did. Uh, kind of like... Who is this? Are you human? Th that's it! That's the voice! There we go. It sounded like it came from behind us. Oh? Uh... 
Oh, there you are. You must be Fuka. A girl is looking your way from the shadows. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive. That's awesome. That is good news. Never fear, June pays here. Oh, God. I'm glad you're okay. He's enacting his strategy. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. Of course, it's not going to be this easy, is it? Where are we? I was at school, and then... And then you ended up here, the mysterious boy's bedroom. Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Oh, what about we'll explain? Mitsuru, can you hear me? <sighs> no good. All I hear is static. Oh yeah, are, are you hurt? Have you uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here then. There are? How have you managed to avoid them all this time? I've managed to avoid them so far. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> How's that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. That's good. What do you mean? Are you psychic? <laughs> she has the same power as Mitsuru. Oh, really? Maybe even stronger. Interesting. Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Persona? Persona? Roll credits. Hang on to this. Akihiko gave Fuka an evoker. Wow, he had a spare one. <gasps> but... But this is... Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Yeah, you gotta shoot yourself instead of the shadows. Um, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. Inside Tartarus, at a hallway with a view outside. Whoa, check out the moon. It's, it's looking big. I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Hmm. Of course, the same can be said for humans. Oh? That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. <laughs> hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? It was. Was it? I think so. Why? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked, back in April? Must have been a full moon. It was full. Today is the 8th. The monorail incident happened last month around the same time. And the assault on the dorm was a month before that. They were all during a full moon. Looks like we got our schedule packed for the next few months. Mitsuru, are you there? Shadows! Oh. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. Converging in our position. Be careful! Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? Wait, what? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone. Attacking who? Why do you sound so calm Damn about this? It. What's going on? Just... It's one of them. If my guess is right, they come every full moon. Which arcana is this one? We have to hurry. All right, we're gapping it. Hey, hey, wait for me. Oh, shit, there's two of them. Meanwhile, at the entrance to Tartarus, Mitsuru and Yukari are having trouble against the giant shadows that suddenly appeared. Oh no, it's just the two of them as well. Uh, uh, what's going on? Nothing's working. Not good. We're back. Mitsuru! We took the teleporter. What in the world? <laughs> Akihiko Senpai, we gotta distract those shadows somehow. I know just how to do it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, we'll give it to you. There you go. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. Uh oh. Huh? Someone entered the lobby from outside Tartarus. F Fuka. Oh God. Why are you here? More Yamasan? Please. Please get out of here. It's dangerous. I. I wanted to tell you, I'm sorry. That's all nice and all, but just please get the fuck out of the way. Ah oh, shit. Hey, look out! Someone save her. Moriyama-san! I need to protect her. Fuka put the gun to her temple. Well, there she goes. She knows how it's done. Holy shit, dude. Fuka-san? That's awesome. A persona? Yes, we talked about this. I can see. I... I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. Wait, are you actually going to be our nav going forward? Just as I thought. Was Mitsuru like Mona? And that, like, you know, just a 
temporary nav. Until we got the real one? Interesting. Mitsuru, let her take your place. Mitsuru's gonna fight alongside us. We'll take care of this. Okay. There we go. What are we dealing with here? Whoa, look at that background. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Please tell me you're more useful than Mitsuru is in that department. I can't deal with more question marks. Okay, still just us three for now. Uh, Emperor and Empress. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's start with the Empress with a Zeo attack. Blocks. Fantastic. Okay, let's try Agi on the Empress. Ah. They didn't say normal attacks don't work. Let's try Zeo on the Emperor. There we go. Okay, now that that landed, I'm actually going to heal me. Don't overdo it. Alright, bewilder. Shit. Distress. The enemies return to normal. Thank you. Is oh god. Junpei's just underleveled for this. Uh, Zio. Good choice. The enemy is Now's down. Our chance. I'm going to revive him. Get on your feet! Come on, pal. Uh, Zio, even though he's distressed. Okay. Thankfully, nothing too bad came of that. Oh god, we're both weak to wait. <clears throat> the enemies return to normal. I'm about to go down, aren't I? Properties changed. The enemy has changed. Blew it. Different weakness. Okay, uh, hopefully I've got something that restores the parties. It's a Soma. Uh, is that really the time now to do that? Okay, I got one beat chain. Here. Let's use that before we start heading up a Soma. Are you okay? Back on my feet. Uh, his properties changed, so I'm guessing Zio's not gonna cut the mustard anymore. Let's switch Persona. Uh, okay, let's try regular physical attacks here. Let's see what it does on the Empress. Okay, there we go. Just a regular physical attack. Or slash attack, I should say. Cool, and look at the damage done on that. Uh, I'm guessing Lightning's not gonna do anything anymore, so let's switch it up to Sonic Punch. I should probably make sure. Okay. Yes. She's back. Missed. Oh, fatal air. God. Oh, for God's sake. Wow, nice move. What the hell is going on here? Uh power slash. I gotta finish one of these off. You found the cool. enemies. That enemy seems to be getting weaker. You think? Okay, one down. Okay, I was a bit nervous. I thought I'd have to like beat them all at the same time or something. Akiko's back on his feet. Let's get Junpei back up. Poor dude. He's just so outclassed here. The enemy. So strike. Junpei's gonna go down again. Oh no, he missed. Akiko's alive somehow. Uh, ooh. Maybe some pierce damage. Missed. Damn it! Hey, I thought you were gonna analyze this. Okay, just oh, give me some can't time. believe I have to tell you to do it. Uh, Agi? Blocked. I'm worried about Akihiko Senpai. Don't worry about him. He's fine. He's fine. Let's go for, um... Let's go for medical powder on Akiko. Yeah. Probably heals more than his Dia. Jeez. 
Jesus, I'm still alive. Attacks will work on it. Oh, so it does work. I just I freaking I missed. Kind of What's his health? How? I should... If I heal myself, he's gonna attack me. Okay. Bit of a risk. I'm gonna revive Akihiko here. <clears throat> of course he goes for me. Fuck's sake. You were meant to go for Akihiko! Okay, first off, I can't believe I had to skip through all that dialogue again. I had to go all the way back to when I met up with the boys. Second, I thought Mitra was meant to join up with us. Would've been handy to have her. To think that I only failed because I missed that one pierce attack. That really grinds my gears. Speaking of gears in the background. Okay, let's handle this. Now that we know what his weakness is. To start things off. Unless it's random. Thank god. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... It was slash attacks, right? Power slash? Keep it up. Cool. I've been waiting for this. Oh yeah, let's do it all out of that. Now. <clears throat> Why not? Nice. Okay. Slash damage. Seems Barely to be did anything, weaker. but uh, let's heal ourselves before we regret it again. Here. Zeo, you can do another all-out attack. Hold on this battle right quick. I've been waiting for this. Okay. You can at least get rid of the Empress, I think. Oh, we'll get both of them down, just like that. No, he's still alive. You're kidding me. Uh, well, let's finish things off. Glad that we uh, managed to catch up really quickly here. He must have one HP. Are you serious right now? Lock, of course. I can't lose to an underclass. Thank God. I'm tired of all these misses. Yeah. I just wish it was that smooth to begin with. Junpei must be leveling up a lot there. Level 12. I think he gained two levels from that. Fuka's level up. Lucia. Okay. I like how she increases strength and magic and whatnot. More of them? A new persona user. Don't worry. It's over. For now. Fuka, you... Are you alright? Yeah. Thank goodness. Whew. Crisis averted. Fuka fell unconscious. Well, she was hanging in there. Fuka? It's alright. She's just exhausted. Thanks, Mitsuru, for the hand. Fuka? Fuka, I... Sorry? Where did these two shadows come from? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I see. Hmm. Um, what are we gonna do about Natsuki? She saw the dark hour and the shadows. We're gonna have to gag her. Disappear her. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. Oh, really? The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. Good, good, good. She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That's true, but hopefully she's uh, had a change of heart. That doesn't seem fair. In her subconscious, she'll realize. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she seems deeply remorseful. I think she's learned her lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but you managed to rescue Fuka. You wonder about the mysterious boy who appeared again. His warnings seem to be more than just dreams. You're too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. You decide to rest as soon as you get back to the dorm. Whew. I've become tired. But hey, I've got a new person on the squad. Hey, I was thinking, did you think Misura Senpai saved Fuka because it was the right thing to do? Or is it just because she's a Persona user and we need her? Uh, I think it's the latter. 
Uh, I think it's the former that uh, I want to believe that Mitsu's actually got a good heart, and she's not just a practical girl. For the right reasons. Uh, I guess so. Well, whether or not she joins us is up to her. <clears throat> Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. It's fine. It's finally time for lunch! Sosama! Are you free today? Watashi, I... Need some help? I can't tell you where. I'll tell you when you come to the fashion club meeting after school. Please come if you can. Onegaishimasu! It seems like something happened to baby. Maybe you should join him after school. Class is ended for today. Okay. All right, my voice has finally returned. God, it feels good to be back. And I can speak without having to cough every two minutes or feel a stomach sensation in my throat. So let's celebrate by reading a bunch of text boxes and find out who we can hang out with today along with the idle chatter of our peers. Rumors suck, man. That one about the girl who collapses already all over the school. Hope no one spreads any rumors about me. As long as you keep your head down, buddy. And even then, someone might talk about how quiet you are. Well, I've checked out all the girls. And... Man, there are some hotties at this school. Well, luckily, you don't have to compete with Kenji. He's got his sights set higher, apparently. I'm gonna just wander away from him and right into Bebe, I guess. Uh, Shihiro's here as well. Hmm. Who can we hang out with? Let's see what else everyone's talking about. Hey, I saw this girl last time in front of the station. She was wearing a frilly white dress. It was like a white goth. Isn't it getting hot to be wearing those kinds of clothes? She must be seriously devoted to her look. There's no way I could pull that off in this kind of weather. Oh, that's the second time we've heard about this woman, right? I think the train station attendant talked about her as well. She's still sipping for Mitsuru, I suppose. Uh, I'm not surprised. Remember what I told you? They just fainted because they were out all night. That's not exactly apathy syndrome. Oh, okay. What are we talking about apathy syndrome here? I heard those people who fainted woke up. So I guess that means they didn't have apathy syndrome? Okay, looks like the fruits of our labor have come to, well, fruition. Good to know. There'll be less zombies in the city for quite some time. At least 28 days. I'm getting bored of text messaging. I guess it's good to be in touch with so many people, but pretty soon I'm gonna get totally bored of it. Once you lose interest in this kind of thing, you can't get it back. It'll never catch on. No one's gonna, gonna prioritize communication via text message in the future. When I think of home economics, I think about cooking experiments and that kind of thing. I hear that some people burn their textbooks by accident by sitting them too close to the stove. Yeah, it's a ridiculous notion. You'd think they'd understand food safety, then general fire safety. Oh, yes, I'm sick, actually. I should go pay a visit to the nurse's office. Why don't we do just that? Well, there you go. Our courage has changed from determined to tough, just like that. If you'll excuse me, Saturn is calling. Go on, say hi to Saturn for me, and maybe wave at Jupiter while you're at it. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Wild Duck Burger. It's nice that you guys are always going to different places. Hope you guys stay together throughout the year. You heard that crazy rumor that's going around online? You can get revenge on someone just by signing up at a website. Well, what kind of revenge are we talking here? Are we talking about uh, sending a bag of dick-shaped lollies to their house or something a little more sinister than that? Okay, well today I think let's hang out with Chihiro. It's been a while since we've seen her. Oh, Sosan, are you on your way home? Um, would you like some company? It seems like Chihiro wants to walk home with you. Do you have Archangel? You might be able to come even closer. Let's spend some time with her. Um, yes. Then, um, let's let's go somewhere for a while. Chihiro seems happy. As she does. You want the nice strip mall, sweet shop. You and Chihiro had a really good time together. What should I do? Chihiro had a troubled look on her face as she left the store. Uh, something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Why? Does it seem like something's wrong? Is it all the sweat that's coming down my brow? Chihiro seems surprised. Uh, oh my! Is there red bean jam on my face? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's just your... You're blushing. Oh god, she is glowing right now. Chihiro is blushing. Remember when you saved me from that creep, Sosan? From that day on, my health hasn't been so great. The doctor said I'm fine, but... Oh, was it Mr. Edagawa? Because seriously, that concoction doesn't work on me either. I'm still unwell. I guess I'll tell you, Sosan, since you've been so nice to me and all. But don't think I'm weird, okay? Last night... I... I you see... I had this... I have dreams about you every single night, Sosan! Every single night? What the hell? Whoa, 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 what? God, what a thing to just blurt out! Um... Uh, how do I react to this? <laughs> of course. Very stoic. 
Well, it's just a coincidence. I thought it was probably just a coincidence too, but Chihiro seems giddy. I dream about you every night. Uh, this is this has never happened to me before. I've never dreamt about a guy before. I appreciate how nice you've been to me, Sosan. But one of these days, I well, I I, I might want to be more than just your friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? You sense that Chihiro cares for you. It seems like things are starting to get serious. What? Oh my God! What are we on rank like five? Goodness. Things are heating up, but the treasurer, oh gosh. The treasurer social link has reached level five. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown. It seems like things are getting serious with Chihiro. She might get upset if you go out with another girl. Oh my, oh God, we've come to this moment already? Uh, oh, sorry, I've just been babbling like an idiot. I get so nervous when I'm around you, Sosan, especially when you, you look at me that way. I, I imagine Sawaku just, like, glaring at her, like, <laughs> You dream about me every night? Well, I suppose I dream about a mysterious boy. Actually, no, it's not a dream. He manifests himself in my bedroom. Sorry. Don't apologize. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Uh, oh. Oh, so sorry, I didn't mean to say, Oh, God, oh, God, just saying sorry all the time. Chihiro's getting confused. Oh, dear. I think I'm starting to overcome my fear of men. I think. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, however, well, I could just look at you all day. With your help, Sosan, I feel like I can do even better. <laughs> Chihiro closed her eyes. Do you want to do better at this point? You know, I feel bad for Chihiro, because I'm thinking... But, you know, she's very... timid. She's shy of boys and men, and... I feel like she's got the hots for me simply because of what I did. I saved her from that creep, right? On top of that, I've been talking with her and making it easier for her to get, uh, start speaking to men, right? And I feel like she's just latched onto me from that. And, uh, you know, honestly, yeah, I don't mind. It's good. She's a sweet girl and all, but goodness me, she's coming on fast. You know, it's like she's really latched on. She, she strikes me as the type who's pretty clingy. So, uh, we'll see how things go. I mean, it is still a bit early. I haven't even got a social link with so many other people. We'll see what other, other choices are. Right now we've got Chihiro, perhaps Yuko. I don't know if we're gonna get a social link with our teammates, Yukari and Mitsuru, or Fuka. So we have to wait on that front. As long as it's nothing scary, it'll be fine. If you make the wrong move, you might upset her. What will you do? Oh god, okay, we could hold her hand, kiss her, or talk to her softly. Okay, uh, if we make the wrong move, I'm gonna guess kiss her is probably the wrong move. Hold her hand's probably the right one in this instance, but I'm not ready to commit, you know? It's, it's still early. It's only June. I've just celebrated my birthday three days ago. <laughs> On the 6th. Uh, let's just, let's just talk to her softly. Huh? Oh, um, that's just your normal voice. What are you doing? Is that it? <laughs> Chihiro seems a little disappointed. Sorry. Okay. You could, um, you know, hold my hand if, if, if you want. My fingers. Oh, God. My controller disconnected. You walked her halfway home while holding her hand. And then I went back to the door. <laughs> I walked her halfway home, then I let go and turned around and walked the other way. That, that was a nice compromise. Oh, hey. Hey, Yukari. Mitsuru-senpai and Akiko-senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, Ikutsuki-san told me that the antique shop in Polonia Mall is open now. Oh yes, that's right, it is. I even called it. I was like, oh, it's gonna open after the next arc. Maybe we should go check it out sometime. That's, uh, yeah, good point. We should definitely check it out. Junpei, what are you up to? You got anything to give me as a present? Mitsuru-senpai and Akiko-senpai are both at the hospital checking up on Fuka. So we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. Fair enough, okay. Oh, I heard that the antique shop at Polonia Mall is reopening. Good see sounds that the owner would help us out. How the hell can an antique shop owner help us out? Unless she has this amazing item created a million years ago that can annihilate shadows. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Just ignore him. But yeah, you should really check it out. Don't forget, it's located inside Polonia Mall. Okay, I got it. I'll go to Polonia Mall. We'll check it out. Well, no Akiko or Mitsuru. Let's head on out. Well, here we are. Welcome. Officer Kurosawa tells me you're fighting against the shadows. To the public, this is merely an antique shop. But privately, I create weapons. They're not ordinary equipment, however. 
My methods involve fusing weapons with personas. Oh, really? Okay. So you're the electric chair, are you? But you'll need a material to assist in the process, such as void sword or nihil gloves. I'll give you one for free to start out with. Here you go. Obtained a void sword. From now on, you'll need to find your own. The golden shadows carry such materials. It's uh, pretty interesting, actually, that we've got people who are aware of shadows beyond just our party members, right? Like, we've got Ikutsuki, we've got the antique shop owner, we've got <laughs> Officer Kurosawa as well. Like, it's, uh, it's pretty rad. It's interesting, though, how they won't combat the shadows. They'll just supply us with it. The teenagers. <laughs> While the cop just, you know, sells us stuff. There's another thing you should know, though I'm still researching it, so I'm not certain of this. Depending on the persona you use in the fusion, you can create special weapons. All I can tell you is to experiment for yourself. Ah, I nearly forgot. If you bring me jewels, I'll trade the goods I carry here for them. Okay, got it. So, we've got a Unite. Unite a weapon, there's a Void Sword, use a... Use to fuse a persona with, into a one-handed sword. You get Nameless Cutlass or a Nameless Katana. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just keep away from this until I know what I'm doing. You guys are more than welcome to give me tips in the comments on whether or not this mechanic's worth pursuing and what I can do with it. For now, though, for fear of, you know, wasting valuable resources, I'm just gonna back out and uh, go to the arcade. It is Tuesday. And we can't hang out with Tanaka until our charm's up. What do we got tonight? Horror House! Let's keep building up our courage. I should check on that, by the way. Watch a scary video. Courage greatly increased. Getting late. Back to the dorm we go. Your cold worsened because you're tired. Oh, God. I'm even more sick. Good morning. You might like to know that Yamagishi and Moriyama are healing up well. <laughs> That's good. Yes. Yeah, I need to rein in the dickiness that I've been doing in the previous episode. You know, I was a, I was a real douche. So we need to find a bit of a balance here. So let's, let's not be too apathetic to everything going on. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. We could definitely use her help. Hey, the more the merrier. Are we up to the Kamakura era yet? Uh, I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Good God, who prepared this syllabus? Such a fool. Well, let's get through it real quick then. First, the Taika reforms. They happened in the year 645. Just remember that. Uh, what were they talking about? Uh, no, nothing reported really. Later on in 710, there was the Hey Joe Kyo that wraps it up for the Nara era. <laughs> Just blazes through his list. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. No, we're staying awake, even though we're sick as hell. What, you want to know more? Uh, okay, here's a question for you about the uh, Nara era. What's the name of the anthology consisting of about 4,500 poems leading up to the Nara era? I don't feel like picking on anyone today, so I'll just tell you. It's the Man Yoshu. We're supposed to cover the Kokin Wakashu, too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Okoda if you want. Oh, I, I don't care about any of this. I don't care about flying shit. I want to get to the Sengoku era. It's calling out to me. Oh, you stayed up and listened to the lecture. Why don't you just do it, man? Just go for it, okay? Why not? As long as it's in the exam, I'm sure we'll be fine. It's finally time for lunch. Hey, Soken, how are you doing? Oh, Yuko, stay away from me! No! Chihiro might be watching from around the corner. Please. Are you free after school today? Uh, I don't know yet. Great, let's go somewhere together. Wait, I, I just said I don't know. But, yeah, sure. I'll see you after school. Oops, gotta run. It's time for class. See ya. It seems Yuko has nothing to do after school today. Okay. Well, shit. Lunch break is almost over. You decide to return to your classroom. Uh, what's today? I think it's Wednesday. Yes, because there's no swimming practice. And student council is going to be meeting today, so this is my chance to escape with Yuko without Chihiro noticing. Unless she looks out the window, in which case I'm screwed. Ikari, I shouldn't even be seen with you either. Supposedly, Fukasan is still asleep. I'm so worried. Because imagine if Chihiro like sneaks to my dorm and finds out Fuka's moved in, and uh, I am bunking in with Yukari and Mitsuru. Sheesh. Even the girl who simps for Mitsuru is going to panic too. Okay, Yuko's there, and you know what, Yuko, I feel like we can only hang out with her on Wednesdays and Saturdays, because those are the days we don't have swim practice, right? So you know what, let's hang out with her today, why not? Hey Soken, I was wondering what I should do since there's no practice today. It seems Yuko wants to walk home together. I have Rakshasa. Let's do it. Great, let's go have some fun. Yuko seems happy. Get gone high school, main lobby. 
and then he threw a left hook right at his face, but he dodged it, and... Oh, can you hang on a sec? I'll finish the story after I put my shoes on. Oh, you can't tie your shoelaces and sell the story at the same time? Again? How childish. What do they do? Do they bully you? Nico was standing by the shoe rack with a strange look on her face. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing, really. Seems like something is bothering Yuko. It's the same stupid prank again. There's a piece of gum on Yuko's shelf. Oh. Phew, they're safe. That's gross. It wouldn't be funny if I had gum all over my shoes. That's, uh, I guess somewhat considerate of them to not go full-blown attack mode on you? Uh, does this happen often? Well, after the first few times I stopped counting, Yuko seems disgusted. I was pissed off at first, but then I just got used to it. I'm tired of being angry, and I'm just too lazy to do anything about it. Oh, that's no good. But if I catch her in the act, I'll grab her and slap her. Oops. Okay, there we go. And she says it with a smile on her face. Charming. Hey, that was a joke, okay? Don't take it so seriously. I'm not like that at all, uh, alright? Gotcha. Totally. You left school with Yuko. Bologna Mall! He went for his arm, but then he put him into a chokehold. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I love it. Like I thought, brains are just as important as brawn. Yuko-san! Is that your new boyfriend? The two female students began talking to Yuko. No, we're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. You don't have to hide it. I'm surprised you get such a handsome guy. Maybe you should become a team manager too. Oh my god, please no, guys, don't spread rumors about me. Chihiro is on the student council. She will end me. She'll kick me out. She'll make my life hell. You've got the story all wrong, like usual. Maybe you should quit. You have to do so much running after all. It's not very attractive for a girl to be too muscular, right? Hey, you know, girls with some muscle are fine. And I don't think she's gonna build muscle by running around, a girl with white socks. Oh, stop. Her boyfriend might hear you. If you want to give it a try, I won't stop you. But I wouldn't bother if you're just looking for a boyfriend. Because being a team manager isn't easy. You won't have time to be sticking gum on the shoe rack. Oh. oh one outs. She just one outs to... What on earth are you talking about? I haven't a clue. Of course not. It was just an example. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? No. Hey, you should get going now. Oh, that is sick. That was... That was such a... That was a move. That was so good. Like, calling them out for it. But not directly calling them out for it, just like bringing it up and then seeing how they panic. She's like, oh, but you wouldn't do something like that, would you? Surely not. Surely you're above that kind of stuff, aren't you? And I'm just like, oh yeah, we gotta go now. <laughs> the two girls disappeared. Let's go sit down. You goes, yeah, she handled that well. I'm sorry, Sokun. I didn't mean to get you involved. No worries. Thanks. Yuko seems happy. Maybe I should tell you the whole story. That girl in the black tights, she went to the same middle school as me. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But he was seeing her at the same time. Oh no. Even though I was a victim too, when she found out, she accused me of being a thief. Really? She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Does that make any sense at all? No. I mean, the both of you should have paired up against the guy. Of course, she thought you were, you know, trading on her territory. Which is unfortunate. Yuko does seem like a sweet girl. That gum on my shelf? It was probably her. She still holds a grudge. Girls can be so unforgiving sometimes. Since those two are in a bunch of girls' clubs, they might cause more trouble for me, huh? As much as I like being a team manager, I wish I could compete. But I can't join those clubs. I guess I'm a little jealous. I hate feeling like this. I just wanted to be involved in swim. By the way, I'm sorry they called you my boyfriend. Oh, don't apologize. Uh... You should apologize to Jahiro. That's who you need to talk to. Are you mad? <laughs> I find it disturbing. I don't care. I'm honored. <laughs> I'm honored. Um, how can you say that with... How can you say that with a straight face? And how many other girls have you used that line on? She's blushing. Yuko seems embarrassed. Okay, there we go. I mean, the other two options didn't sound like that good if I said it out loud. Especially the disgusted one. When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Trust me, I've been there before. Gotcha. You know, if people see us sitting together like this, they may think we act really are dating. I don't mind, though. <laughs> Yuko seems embarrassed. Oh, God. Okay, things are really wrapping up with every girl I'm talking to. The relationship is stronger now. Okay. Maybe it's time we give the boys the time of day for a little bit.
just let things cool off. Team manager, social links reach level four. I'm about to create a har harm. Even though I'm only halfway through both their social links, it seems Yuko is curious about you. Your relationship is becoming more intimate. Please don't tell Kaz or anyone else that story. You're the only one who knows Sokun. By the way, that guy I was going out with? I broke up with him a long time ago. I'm, I'm free. I'm available. I'm a free agent, you know? Probably figured that out already, huh? So see you later. I figured you wouldn't be with a two-timer after what he'd done. You could run away. You decide to go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Sup. They're at the hospital again, visiting Fuka. So I guess we're not going anywhere tonight, either. Man, I wonder when she'll be ready to come along. Hey, don't just assume that she'll be joining us. I hope they're not trying to push her into it. I hope they are. She's got a persona, for goodness sake. What's she gonna do during the dark hour? Just sleep in bed? Come on, man. We got a world to save. Damn, you know what? I just realized I didn't go to the nurse's office today, even though I'm sick. Ah, rushed into the social link. I need to take my time a little bit more. What do we got? Quiz game. Yeah, academics. We need to work our way towards Mitsuru. She must have a social link, right? If I have to build myself up to genius to hang out with her. So, we must have team social links. Or maybe only some of them? I don't know. This is your mastery of trivia. Academics greatly increase. Back to the door. Am I feeling better? Cold is not gone yet. Good. I can still visit the nurse's office. You received a text message. It's from Akihiko. Fuka is being released from the hospital. We'll talk to her this evening. Come to the command room as soon as you get back. Gotcha. Okay, command room tonight. Oh, Chihiro's in the hall. Chihiro's in the hall. Let's uh, let's quickly make our escape. Back to the classroom. Back to the classroom. Cause, buddy. Hey, bro. It's time for practice. You go on ahead. For some reason, Kazushi doesn't seem like himself. I have Zokuten. So, let's hang out. I'll catch up later. Kikon High School, indoor swimming pool. The swim team is giving it everything they've got. The workout is tough, but fun. You don't see Kazushi. Sokun, I just got a text message from Kaz. It's for you, but he didn't know your address. It says, come to Iwatadai Station. What is he thinking? He skipped practice today, too. Oh, no. Yuko is a team manager. Not doing very well in keeping him in line. After practice, you go to Iwatadai Station. Iwatadai Station. Kazushi is sitting on the stairs. Just chillin'. Hey, so, why are you running? You know my knee's bad. You don't need to make me jealous that you can run. Y Yuko was pissed off, huh? Since I missed practice? Kazushi is averting his gaze. Oh, it's almost like your actions have consequences, Kazushi. I should have told you before, but, um, the results. Apparently, my knee is getting ripped apart. The doctor said if I keep this up, I won't be able to walk anymore. Okay, dude, that's pretty serious. I feel like you need to let Yuko know that you can't attend swim. He said I put too much strain on it during practice. How pathetic. Well, I just want to win. Suck it up. Oh, well. <laughs> Are these really my only two options? Oh, well. How could you say that? Because she seems annoyed. I mean, every minute, every second is critical. I don't have time to waste. I promise to be number one athlete in Japan. Is it that important? Like, why am I... No, am I committed to being a douchebag now? Promise? Yeah, I promise, but... Kazushi seems upset with himself. My nephew got into an accident, and his leg got messed up. Damn, that music suddenly changed. He can't walk right now, but if he goes through rehab, he might be able to recover. He says it hurts too much, though, so he doesn't want to do it. He, he's only five. There are so many things he's never done. I made a deal with my nephew that... Okay, don't laugh, all right? If I become number one in Japan, he'll go through rehab. So I have to win this meeting to make it to Nationals. Do you think you can win? To tell you the truth, I, I don't think I can do it. Because this seems really depressed. Okay, dude, let's be honest here. You're aiming for the number one in the nation. Okay? That's a, that's a pretty big goal. Alright? And, you know, as much as I admire you aiming for the stars... Sometimes you gotta be a little bit more realistic with your goals, okay? You can't just say, I want to be the very best of the world at something, okay? It's pretty fucking hard to do that. Let's start small, work your way up. Okay, how about making it to nationals in the first place, okay? And once you make it to nationals, how about just making it into the, you know, the top ten or something? Just start small. You gotta put too much pressure on yourself, and your stress is going to make your knee even worse. Like, dude, come on, man. Rein it in a little bit. 
sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Especially the depressing conversations. I'm sorry that all my answers are just... <laughs> assholery. <laughs> it's tough to keep it all inside. You're the only one I can talk to. Kazushi's opened up to you. Your relationship is stronger now. No, oh, I appreciate it, Kazushi. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible rival to you. Swim Team Social Link has reached level 6. Yuko seems to figure things out pretty quickly, so she might say something to you, but... Tell her to talk to me directly. I don't want to put you in the middle of this, so... You decided to go back to the dorm, especially because, you know, she's starting to get attracted to me. Oh my god. I'm gonna get caught in the crossfire. The dormitory command room. The chairman and Fuka are sitting here along with the others. The color has returned to Fuka's face since her ordeal. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Matrix. Sorry to disconnect my controller again. <laughs> this reminds me of the Matrix where we where they bring Neo or you know Keanu Reeves' character in and they start explaining things. They even got the same like chairs. Uh, I feel like the decor, maybe if the room is a bit darker, it'll probably look like the exact same scene where they just offer the blue and the red pill right here. We're about to give Fuka the red pill. You're Fuka Yamagishi, right? And here's Morpheus. Yes. <laughs> Relax. There's no need to be nervous. Why don't you have a seat? Welcome to our command room. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. We'd like you Everyone, to move in. You did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Yes, thank you. I also wanted to let you know, the three girls have all regained consciousness. Excellent. That's good news. Okay, so fighting off the shadows seems to restore the condition of the people that they've targeted? What a relief. From what I understand, they each came to school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. That's creepy, though. These shadows are devious bastards. They were attacked by shadows near the gate as the dark hour began. But the shadows were speaking to them during the day, like, outside of the dark hour. However, the facts became twisted because of rumors concerning a ghost story. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. Yeah, yeah, of course you did. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. You got bullied. It's their fault, really. Are you kidding? You were the victim. Please. But I made so many people worry. Yeah, you didn't lock yourself in the gym. Hey, don't think like that. We could have lost that fight if you weren't there. Yeah. I mean, we did lose that fight, technically, but we don't talk about that. You saved our lives. You should feel good about yourself. You have a special power that you can use to help others. And so we need you here. A special power? We call it Persona. You could be a tremendous help to us. Will you lend us your strength? See? Mitsuru, red hair, red pill. Makes sense. <laughs> Although, Fuka's blue hair. Blue pill. Are you asking me to join you? Yes, please. Would you wear this C's armband? That's correct. Mitsura Senpai. I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Akihiko Senpai. You know, we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it, I'll do it. There we go. I'll help you. Are you sure? That's the commitment we're looking for. If you join, you'll have to live here. And, you know, Junpei's around. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Oh. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? We don't have time. We only got 26 days until the next full moon. Um, it's okay, really. Now then, those special shadows showed up again. We still don't know where they're coming from, but Akihiko is right about one thing. Their appearances seem to coincide with the full moon. We'll take that into consideration from now on. All right. So they're kind of like werewolves then, huh? I suppose so. It's a big advantage for us to know when to expect them. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. <sighs> <laughs> You've discovered a pattern in the appearance of the special shadows. You wonder if this is what the boy was trying to tell you. It seems that you should start paying attention to the moon's phases. Okay, well, time to look out the window every night. Seems like Fuka was forced to join us. Even though in the end it was her choice. I don't feel good about this. Hikari, it's fine. She's fine. She volunteered. She's all good. We didn't put a gun to her head. She's gonna do that herself when we get into Tartarus, okay? All is going to be okay.